Hey, what's going on, guys? Jay Will here again at Veteran Nerd Review. Getting ready to give you guys another Marvel Legends figure review on the Marvel Legends Retro Card MK1 Armored Spider Man or Spider Armor. I call it Armored Spider Man because that's kind of what it just looks like to me, so yeah. But let's go ahead and slide this guy back. I'll take him off his stand here. Pretty cool figure all the way around, if I'm just being honest. Didn't get that out of the way. Definitely like the way he looks. and get him into some pretty cool poses. And I kind of like playing this armor or this look of Spidey in the video game. Got to do a lot of that overseas on my downtime. So, yeah. Let's take a quick look at the packaging here. And then we'll get a closer feel for the figure itself. Before we get into that, guys, if you can, go ahead and uh, subscribe for me. Hit the like button. Share your thoughts after the video. Hit the notification bell so that way you guys can be looped in on any more videos I got coming down the pipeline for you guys. And that way you guys can be in the know or at least aware of any updates I have for the raffle program I'm getting ready to implement for you guys. Got some pretty cool figures, some pretty cool stuff you guys might want to partake in or have a chance to win. Awesome figures, so a little nothing. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the packaging here. Got a nice big bold retro card for the Spider Man figure here. Got some artwork right there on the side, artwork at the top. Spin it around. Got some artwork of some figures that came out in this line that you guys have an opportunity to, to get. If you guys can, go ahead and find these guys pick them up. I think they're all pretty awesome. I wasn't able to pick up the Simeo Spider-Man, Hobgoblin, Hobgoblin, or the Ben Riley, so I'm pretty bummed out about that. But if I find them again in another, another life or another time when I'm a little more, have a little more cheddar to blow, I might go ahead and get them later on. But Got some more artwork right there of the figure. I guess this is like a slight instruction manual here. Got some more artwork right there on the top. Got a little bit of a read up if you guys want to read it. Go ahead and pause it. Let it, I guess, focuses a little bit more. I think you guys can read it from there. But yeah. Other than that, not a whole lot else going on with the packaging. So let's go ahead and put that to the side. And let's bring our guy a little bit closer, shall we? Real quick, we're just going to go ahead and do some comparisons between some other armored characters. I think the armored retro card Daredevil looks pretty cool with this guy. I can definitely see these guys like on a patrol one night, hopping across rooftops together in their armored suits, looking for a nice little brawl with somebody like, like maybe Kingpin's goons or something like that or maybe you can see him with a uh, war machine hanging out one night somewhere in New York or maybe just Tony in a war machine armor like they're on a stealth mission or something like that and then also you can go ahead and bring his uh, iron spider armor so that way you guys can see what those look like together not bad I don't think not bad nice little line up here let's bring these guys back out Let's go ahead and bring in my favorite or definitive Spider-Man figure currently. We have the Marvel Legends Renew Your Vows Spidey. And unfortunately, it looks like he's a little bit bigger than um, this armored version. So I can't really like do a head cannon where he's in this armor. So unless it's like, you know, alternate universe or something like that, of course, which is the multiverse big thing in Marvel and DC so I guess it could be like a younger Peter Parker inside the armored suit maybe if you guys want to think of it that way go ahead and bring this guy back out and as far as accessories go he does come with the two thwipping hands that are already equipped and he also comes with a set of down to business hands as I call them in the packaging well he's equipped with these in the packaging but I went ahead and equipped the uh, down to business hands or the uh, thwipping hands for purposes of the thumbnail and just pretty much, pretty much having them on display. And then of course he comes with two um, webbing uh, accessories here. I guess I don't really have a word for it myself. I guess it's like it's, it's just like you know pretty much a, a web that's been sprayed or like you could put it like over somebody's face maybe, like maybe post it up on like on a wall. Or like a display or something like that, maybe behind him or something like that, or I don't know. It would be kind of difficult, I guess, to kind of have him 
fixed on his wrist some kind of way to make it seem like they're coming out of his wrist already kind of like spread out like that but they're there you can find a way to utilize them however you please and that is what he comes with inside of his packaging now let's take a closer look at this figure I'm really liking the nice little sheen that he has. It's kind of probably it's probably throwing my camera off a little bit, but the armor is very, how should I say, silvery, if that's a word. It's not. I know it isn't, but I use it just now because, yeah, very silvery, shiny looking uh, armor there. Nice detail in the lining. The spider is etched into the armor, so that way it's kind of like it's, as you can kind of see maybe eh, might not come through on the camera, but. The spider itself is kind of like engraved into the uh, armor, so you can see the black texturing, which is like the texture on his arm, underneath the armor. So that's pretty cool. A uh, little bit of paint spillage from the silver onto some black lines, where you can kind of tell it's supposed to be black right there in the ab section right there. Other than that, I'm not really seeing any real defects. I was just a little bit here on the arm. A little bit of silver leaning over, so spilling over into the black. Maybe it's a little bit of silver missing on this side, maybe. A little bit of silver missing right here on the top of his boots on the back right there. Huh, but not a whole lot to grab about about this, the paint job anyway, and the, um, the sculpt and the mold. Other than that, those little gripes that I just pointed out, but it looks pretty good overall. I mean, having them on my shelf from like a distance, I'm not going to be able to see any of that I just named off anyway, so it's not really going to matter for the most part. But let's go ahead and get down to brass taxes and see what the figure can do. As far as articulation goes, he can look up that far. His head is on a dumbbell joint inside of the neck, so you don't get a whole lot of backwards tilt. But he can tilt forward just a little bit before it starts to kind of fix itself back upright. You get a good little range of a hit tilt because it's on the dumbbell joint. So you get a good little range of a emotion you can display there. That's nice. Of course, side to side movement. Arms move out to the sides that far. Down to the uh, sides this far. They go all the way around. A bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that bend in pretty far. You get a wrist swivel as well as back and forward motion on the hands. And it's the same way on the other hand as well. You get an ab crunch, the crunch is back pretty far. Crunch is forward pretty far. You get a waist cut. Legs kick out to the sides, a uh, fairly decent amount. I feel like a Spider-Man figure should definitely go out a little bit more. Kicks to the front very far. Kicks backward a good amount. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knees. No boot cut or anything like that. But he does get ankle pivot as well as up and down motion in the feet. So, yeah, he is a very fairly limber figure, and you can definitely get like a good range of uh, poses out of him before you start to you know get kind of bored. So, but you definitely can get a lot out of him. Very fun figure to have. Definitely looks pretty cool on your displays. If you want to throw in some other armored characters, where'd you go? There you are. So yeah, I highly advise the pickup if you guys are find them for a while. I think I pay maybe uh, about 15 or 16 for them. Back when the Hasbro had like a, a sale back a while ago, a couple, about maybe six months ago, like 30% off, something like that, uh, premium and plus members or whatever. So if you can pick them up for that price, I advise you to go ahead and get them up to about maybe about 21, 22 bucks or so as far as like, you know, just my personal opinion. But yeah, definitely a pretty cool figure to have. Definitely uh, will help it spread and, uh, you know, expand your Spider-Verse shelf if you guys are into that kind of thing. One of these days, you, you guys will see my uh, displays and see how big my Spider-Verse shelf is. But as always, I uh, appreciate you guys for stopping by, taking a look at my videos and everything. If you can, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button. Share your thoughts. Hit the notification bell so that way you guys will be looped in on everything I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And yeah, you guys stay safe out there. Later.